let's start the video with TurboGrafx-16 stuff. They got some good stuff too. Devil's Crush, love you some Devil's Crush. Double Junsons, 50 bucks only, love it. How about a train goes by right about now? That's perfect. Thank you for that anyway. I don't know, it's only 20, not so bad. Got a loot, oh yeah, Turbo uh, Space Harrier for 40. Victory run for only 20, not bad. Oh, I love me the cheap five, let's see. Five dollars, I'll take it. What do we got? Dragon Power, five dollars. Ten dollars, okay. Eh, I'll still drag it. This is a, if you find this one, it is a Dragon Ball Z. But it came out, or Dragon Ball. But it came out in the US as a Dragon Power. European version of Excite Bike. Looks just different enough, but just familiar. Actually kind of cool, I like that. Ah, oh, such a good game, Dragon Spirit. Grab that one for sure. I like this game. Flight of the Intruder, but on the spine. Intruder, that's all it says. Dudes with attitudes. Kind of a unique one here. 10 bucks only? I'll grab it for 10. I love the uh, <laughs> multi carts here. Here's all the games on there. That way I can look it up. Another one. More just these weird Star Wars Top Gun boot cart. Okay. Sure looks interesting. I know nothing about it, but have time to grab it just for fun. I got a trade with my buddy Jeff, and I, in return, get to choose $100 in games and here's what i got so far let's see what else do i need batman so let's see like you know 30 that's 40 55 60 70 80 90 you know, 10 dollar game 10 dollar game and i could grab i could try to grab a 15 dollar game and say hey you know a little bit over whatever i'll make it easy 10 dollar oh narc for 10 bucks or i could do two let's do narc for 10 bucks narc's an awesome one yeah i'm happy with this pretty decent view Kind of, a, kind of a grim day in Portland, but it'll brighten up, I think. When in Portland, oh, they're just regular. Where's the gimmicky ones? The what? The gimmicky ones. Uh, I didn't get any gimmicky ones. Ah. <laughs> There's the front. We're just about ready to open, and it loops all the way around to this side as well. Down the way, it's gonna be a good time. All right, let's see it. Sideswipe. I've never seen that one. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that. That it's thick. <laughs> you need to actually have that outfit like for cosplay or something. The giant the propeller head. Over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the 64 boxes for Japan were like vertical yeah. instead of like sideways. This is super hard to find. This is uh, Star Gladiator Episode 1. Oh, cool. What this is, is part of the Fighter's Edge uh, collection. Okay. This Edge is like the subset of uh, Capcom made all fighting games. It's probably like 12. Go to my channel and check it out. But okay. I'm trying to get it again, but this one was the really hard to find one. All right. Got a good deal? Yeah, real good deal. Reggie will jump all over that one. Reggie traded it to me like 10 years ago. Oh. <laughs> that was Reggie's. That was, that Reggie. was Reggie's. Oh. I do love the cheap NES games. Uh, These are cheap. Yeah. Three bucks only. Three, four, five. Got a two dollar, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> two dollar win, lose, or draw. I mean, it's worth about that, but yeah, it's, yeah. I'll come back and grab that. Just love the uh, label art on this one. Oh yeah. I kept the, the Famicom games with the label art I liked. Right. Which are a lot. From Namco. But I at least give you a little screenshot of what the game looks like. Yeah. No matter what the game is. Mystery, like, you know, thriller writer. Okay. And they just made it into like a, not even an RPG because you're just reading, right? It's just like oh, a just like, yeah, it's a virtual novel. Yeah, virtual novel. Thing. Yeah. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, same. I did not. All right, let's get your stamp, everybody. One there. Let's do it. Oh, oh, brilliant. Are being recorded now? Yes, <laughs> we can pass. We gotta grab that, right? <laughs> Rob, Quanto Cuesta. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. I gotta, can't turn down a one dollar. I mean, you have an entire case of a uh, Coaster Works here. I've, I've got 24. You got 24 uh, Coaster uh, Works? Oh. Well, not bad. All right. And I bought them. Yeah, this, this game looks like a coaster. Oh, I've heard of these. Yeah, yeah. These ones I couldn't get working, so if you want to try to get them working, you can have them. Oh, I'm mad. I wish, I wish I knew what I was doing they're, when it came to things cool. like, like they're, they're not just calculators, right? They do other no, stuff no, too. No, no, it's like a, and it's like one of those like little translators pocket, you know, it's like that sure. 90s era of like, 
hey, you could like translate things, and then smartphones came. Right. <laughs> Killed the entire idea. Yeah, but my smartphone isn't by Sega. Yeah. Which it was. Yeah. I'll trick off. I love stuff like this. Arcadoy 2. Nice. Free? Shouldn't have said that so loud. <laughs> it's free. What? Everything's free. Well, all right. Well, if they're free, I'll take them. Claimed. I mean, CDI really is the optimal way to watch uh, Wayne's World 2. It's like Andre the Giant's uh, NES controller there. Did you see that thing? Good Lord. He said, I joined the Giants in his control. That's it. That's 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 what that's what he played his uh that's what he played Tecmo Bowl on right there. That's funny. <laughs> trying to think of a French NES game. I can't think of one. The Smurfs, I guess. I have a little holographic sticker thingies. Is that for eye catching, I guess? I don't know. It is eye catching though. Never thought about that. Let's do three on it and then we'll go for it. Steve! Wait, you're fired, bye. Bye. Wow! Bye, you you bye, broke it, you Steve. bought it. Hey. You bought it. That's it's right. Okay. No worries, it's all good, don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Wrongway over there. Oh, good. No. Wow. Hey, I can't help you. She can't put a hey. little end cap on her game. I wasn't saying that. I just love how VHS these look. It's <laughs> a gigantic board, double board. Oh. Gotta run a. Uh, Neo Geo exclusive whatnot stream there. Ooh, I'm, I'm working up to that. We'll see. Okay. The sticker's on the little thing, so you can see at a glance how much these games are. It's kind of a cool idea. I like that idea. Some great ones here as well. Yeah. I'll grab a few here. I've always wanted to go around and buy every copy of Mario Paint just to see if there's anything still saved on the art that somebody made. Gotta do that sometime. Copy of Night Star, hopefully in television. It's fun. A little portable uh, Contra. This is uh, a model? Yeah, is that what this is? Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, Didn't even know they made these. You got yeah, a couple of Vic Vipers here. Japan, uh, okay. I say like 2008 ish. Okay. Uh, they're real hard to find now. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I bet. Especially still, uh, you know, yeah. disassembled. Yeah. It's great Genesis games. Got the El Viento. Yeah, the label's not the best. It's yeah. still not easy to find. Don't see an XI too often. Sometimes I look at other prices too. Let's see a Gyrus for 55. That's cheaper than usual. So that means that tells me that other things on this table may be cheaper than usual. And always look down at oh, got box NES games? Hey. I got a box game. Oh, Mike, dude. You know, ten bucks for Aladdin, I'm down. Three for battleship, you know. Seven for Power Rangers, I'll grab that. See? It's not for 45 another place. It's you know label condition, but still for 40. I'll take that. Yeah. 30, 30, 40. Yeah, I'll grab a few things from this guy. Always the good stuff in the cases. Oof. And there's stuff on the top rack too. Oh yeah. Kind of covered. We ran out of table space. <laughs> that happens. Gotta sell some stuff first. You can make more room. So he says it's too embarrassing, we'll see. No, no, it's a very precise collection of PS2 wrestling games that I'm trying to create out. Oh, you that's find nothing, them nothing, in one spot. Nothing embarrassing about that. Right? You find them in one spot. I'll take these two out. <laughs> and then, if you need it, I have this with the HDMI in it. Fun! Yeah, if you need it. But they're not common or anything. This is my booth neighbor. His name's Dan. <laughs> I like these back here. I like those back there. I might actually be walking home with that. We'll see. And then here's my booth neighbors on this side. Hi. Hi, Cooper. Hi, E.T. Look at this. Just a flat fee. Five, ten. Some great games in here, too. Look at this. Five, five. Five. Yeah. Now I've got a copy of myself. Oh, I'm making a stack. Here we go. Swords and Serpents, five. Grab those. That's Bio Billy. Take that for five. Solstice. Five. Oh, go for it. Yeah, go, go for it. All the squares, five. I, I didn't. 
the dollar games. Oh yeah, if you could make $10 and $5 stacks. I'd That's exactly that. what I'm doing. You, you can work with me on my laziness. No, I want to make it easy on you too. I, I tried to price these fairly, so we'll, we'll work together on it. All right, and these are all 10 right here probably? Yep. All right, I'm putting, look at this. Great. Except for this. Okay, great. And these. So this, I'm one short, can I give you 34? Yep, absolutely. Thanks, man. Thank you. Drop the cards or something. Don't, don't lose that. You can make me an offer oh, on those higher price ones. Okay, haven't got that far yet, but okay. <laughs> I just sold something, so I was like, oh good, I get to come over here. And... Yeah, man, like you could uh, keep turning over the same few items here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were a producer or something on this, or how that worked? Yeah, well, you know, producer meaning I literally did everything. Camera, okay. <laughs> sound, I was the sound designer, the colorist. <laughs> okay, that's you. This is you, okay, yeah, I, I want to check my, this. My friend Vince Clemente was the official director, so he gets okay. credit for that. All right, perfect. Okay, well, I'm proud of the movie. I've been looking forward to see these for a long time. It's a delightful little film. And with your large purchase, you can have the DVDs for free. Oh, you're well. I don't mind supporting you too. And this one too, as well, huh? Yeah. So that was my claim to fame. That Tetris documentary really spawned the Classic Tetris World Championship. Nice. Which will be happening this year. So this was covered the inaugural. The, the first one. Even includes the cases. I, I bought three cases worth of stuff from the one thing I sold. And the cases are included. This guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Awesome. Grab some other fun stuffs We're here. Such good neighbors. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> I get these cool neighbors that have all these great games. And it's like, <laughs> instead of selling stuff, I'm too much too busy buying stuff. And this one, you were telling me, I mean, it's Activision skateboarding, but it's like Tony Hawk style, but Disney, huh? Yeah, it's like the, the pro skater engine. That's with crazy. Characters, so kick I completely missed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played this. I don't know why I skipped it before, but yeah. I gotta check it out. It's really fun. People have been playing it here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's been a really good turnout this year. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people were excited to come back and do some shopping here in Portland. You know, there's no panels or anything this year. That's they're not for a swap meet anyway. But it's just good little two day. See Alex down there. There's Cooper. Uh, so I have the classic football too. Oh. I'm not sure if it's something you would like, but I thought of you when I saw it. Oh, well. So I got it for you. I don't know about football, but I am classic. <laughs> awesome. I'll take that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, it's great. What are you hunting for, Josh? What are you looking for? Whatever. Uh, cheap hidden gems. Another thing I'm doing right now is I'm hunting for other people. That's one of the fun things about collecting is if you know, I'm not collecting for myself, you know, I have a couple of people that's like, hey, I'm gonna be at this convention, what are you looking for? And it's like, well, I'm looking for this, that, the other. Okay, well, that gives me something to look out for. So I'm looking for a few things. Let's see if we can find any of them while I'm here today too. Like one of the things specifically is an Astro Boy for PlayStation 2 or Xbox, an Astro Boy by Sega, a Van Helsing, a Spider-Man 2, and if you see it, let me know. Oh, sorry, right here, Van Helsing. Four bucks. Yeah, perfect. Hey, never seen X Band. I was telling an interesting story about these. There's actually what you can do with this is you can plug in a link to the past, and they actually have a randomly generated maze that you can play on the X Band. So now that I've had this, I've actually been able to do everything that you can do with a link to the past. It's just so any any a link to the past will work. It's it's a link to the past has the maze that's that's written into the code on code on here. Interesting. Uh, it's yeah, it's just a, it's just a simple line maze and it just changes colors. It's all randomized. Yeah, but, but I still it was super cool because Le Link to the uh, Zelda Link to the Past is like one of my favorite games. Right, but you but people who own the game haven't played all of it unless they have unless this. Unless they've had that, yeah. Wow, I did not. Well, now I now I'm interested. Yeah. At first I was like, yeah, what is a little accessory, a little looks cool, a little piece of history. You have a link to the past. That's ooh, it's tempting. <laughs> Got some great games here too. Oh God, Brain Lord. That's a hidden gem. Love that one. Not, not enough people talk about Brain Lord. The PSP going on here and right next to it. Dude, there it is. Monster Jam as well, look at this. Dude, I'm not even sure what this is. Must be like a like Simon Says type thing. They have, love this one. 50 bucks, hmm. I might need to, I used to have one, and then I traded it away, and I need one back. So I think I need to grab this one for myself. Oh, dude, remember these cases? 
I, I gotta grab this just for the case alone. The game's fun too, I do love that game. But come on. Has the weird switch on the back, kinda shocks the CIC. <laughs> I've always loved these flasks. I gotta grab a couple of these on the way out too. Especially this one, Drunk Hunt's the way to one. Ninja Drygen Metal Beer. Curious where I am, that's where I am. You can find them in Vancouver, Washington. All your gaming needs. Famicom Disk System over here. Didn't even see this over here. Uh, nothing I need. Gyrus is good. And timed. I'm not familiar with this one at all. Time twist something? Interesting. Hmm. This is for the Genesis. Religious base game for the Genesis. Here's my most recent holidays. They just closed the doors a second ago. Um, I didn't even film it because I was too busy. I was like, oh, I gotta find these five dollar games. Look at five dollar. I'm telling you, these five dollar games. Look at this. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Five. It's worth about five dollars, really, when you get down to it. Pretty unique games here. Five dollars. Target Renegade. Five dollars. There's a couple of uh, you know. I think I think you know Batman. A little faded on that one, but only ten bucks. Dude, I can do that all day. Uh, Rocketeer. Eight bucks only. You can see how the label condition is there. But uh, happy to grab these. Happy to um, happy to get uh, do a deal with these. And then these. I'm telling you, um, I do have a PC Engine Duo. I have a PC Engine Duo, and they have the, just stacks of these. There's like so many of them. Uh, so many great ones, including like there's like a Ronmo one half in here somewhere. Um, like this Noriko, maybe one of the first uh, disc-based games like ever. Like here it is, Ronmo one half. Look at this, Ronmo one half. Um, he had you know a couple. Of, I mean, I was like looking at him like ten dollars, ten dollars. Most of them are ten dollars each. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. I love stuff like that. I rarely see it. Um, it wasn't moving. I was just like, well, what do you think? I mean, like, are you selling much of them? He's like, ah, I sold one today. I was just like, you know what? Uh, 200 for all of them. He's like, eh, sure. So, got a great deal on these ones too. You might see these in a future whatnot and um, gonna do a few label upgrades with some cleaning as well. Gonna be a great time. The deals to be had here at the video game swap meet in Portland uh, are phenomenal. And I wanna get that guy in the background there. We'll get that guy in the background there. No. All right, uh, closing shop for today. It'll be open tomorrow just for a couple hours, but we're gonna have some fun tonight. I'm rocking the dumplings, chicken and dumplings. The ribs looking good. This is at the screen door. Screen door. My buddy Joe here. Gotta, gotta go with the chicken, man. They, they, they said this place is best for chicken. Gerald got the legit chicken. Good lord, Daryl. We'll see. Ribs always. What do you think? Tasty. <laughs> A seafood jambalaya. I think we all got something completely different here. We gotta try it. Gotta try everything. Rocking the dessert here. This is uh, banoffee pie or something like that. It's like uh, sure. There's like pecan and shortbread thin crust. Uh, there's banana and caramel and cream and all kinds yeah, of stuff. But man, Josh, yeah. what is what is this? Oh, Come on. Let's call it a double layer chocolate cake. A double layer. Some real yeah. southern comfort food. <laughs> I've never been down there, but I think it is. Looks like like it. You know what? I like it. You like it? You got the you got the chocolate? Man, listen. We found our way to Quarter World and one of the drinks out here is the Ninja Baseball Batman Hatton. We got John on the big Lebowski. You've probably heard of Baby Pac-Man, part arcade game, part pinball table. That's right. When you go down the chute on Baby Pac-Man, you actually play pinball, and that's the same concept with Granny and the Gators. The arcade game and pinball. What is this ridiculous game? I don't get it. I'm yellow. Uh oh, uh oh. I can't move. Oh, you moved the plates. I thought I was trying to move the person. Oh no! Party foul. Oh no! No, 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 no! <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got the winner on that one. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's a cheers game. You have to actually, like, you don't have to drink it, but you have to pick up your drink. Interesting. Monte runs pretty neat because you're down here, but you have a chance to play right there, which I just did and failed miserably. But I love it when they have little gimmicks like that. Cheers. Dude! That's cute! I love it! That's cute, I love it. Oh, I gotta grab one of those for yeah, sure. That's really good. Is it really? Okay. Yeah, yes, it Man, I'm down. This is the, the Zelda Mana Health thing. Yes. Yeah. Give it a shot. Let's do it. Got a quick sip there. Ooh! Very sweet. Very good. Very dangerous. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. You can't taste the alcohol. I know. So it's... Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> that's the scary part. That's, a, that's a scary part. There's a few other arcade machines here at Quarter World in Portland. This is a little side room, and I can't even show you the screen that's showing right now. However, if you find yourself at Quarter World in Portland... Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna show you... I'll show you a little bit. Show you a little bit, that's all I can show you. That's it. Alright, you see the rest of it here at Quarter World in Portland, alright? Oh! Watch out, watch out! Oh! No, oh. Man, oh. <laughs> Here's Joan finding the strategies here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Oh. Right. It has the, uh, classic machines here. Constituting a new rule, where if Tapper's in the arcade, you play Tapper with the tap controller. This hair, I've been wanting to play with it. Go All for right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Day two is we're slowly getting set up, and down here, box o stuff. Everything's one dollar unless otherwise marked. We have a, a game system bag. Okay, tons of controllers. One of those two. I mean, they're all gonna be like third-party controllers, but they work fine. Some of them do. Look at this it's a weird d patty on that. See, this is the stuff I like to use for like, you know, retro pies or misters or something like that, something like that. Jungle Hunt. Love me some Jungle Hunt on the Atari 5200. Oh, dude, this is like Pixel Game Squad stuff right here. You see that's on Pixel Game Squad right there. I kinda wanna buy that. Yo, how awesome is this? I gotta have it. Hang this up on my kitchen wall. Oh, it's not a wall phone, is it? Nope. I'd love to have this on my wall, like, yeah, <laughs> in the kitchen. You can probably build a mouth. No, I'm sure you could. Oh, that'd be great, though. I didn't realize when I put this back, I covered these. Look what's, look what's hiding from me. They've been hiding the whole time. Got Bonk. Got Bloody Wolf. Battle Royale. Oh, Twin Lab, cool. Got Ordine. Got all kinds of stuff, dude. Run. Now what is this? It looks like it might be, it's newer. It's definitely newer, but still. Oh, that's amazing. I love this. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh, look at this hat. I don't think it, that because of this, it's not vintage. Probably came out a few, oh. That's amazing. They wrote their name on it. Uh, what's the date? Here we go. 2014. Oh, it's wonderful. I gotta hide my head to see if anybody's gonna find it. Oh. This is just randomly placed somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I just love the unique stuff. You know, so many people just have boxes of games, but not everyone has White Man Can't Jump. Yep. Yeah. Don't see this too often. This would be cool. I haven't played this, but I'd love to. Ooh. Oh, good. You got the, you got the GameCube. Ooh. I always thought the box art on this one looks pretty cool. Nice. Still looking for those games from my buddy. I've seen several Spider-Man 1s, but not Spider-Man 2, or King Arthur, or Astro Boy. This is a fun game, though. I used to have this one. I used to, once upon a time, when I reviewed games, they sent me a copy of this, um, like, a, like a, a preview copy, like, you know, like the demo copy, the preview copy, or whatever. And I played it, I reviewed it, and I literally threw the game away, because it's like, it's just like a little plastic sleeve. Man, I wish I would've kept those. Well, the TurboGrafx-16 stiff. I don't have a Legendary Axe 2. Or ballots too, for that matter. Good stuff here. People do this kind of stuff, and this kind of stuff, and this kind of stuff. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. What a deal! Look at these. Fifty bucks only. With the pearl white. Oh, it has a sticker. The Nike version. <laughs> Look at the custom backlit. I uh, love one of the best soundtracks ever. You don't even know it. On Africa? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes. It's an interesting game. I played it. I put in a few hours into it. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's Pokemon Snap, but with real animals. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I have my stuff over here, and somebody dropped this off. Who dropped this off? Dude. I mean, I'm guessing it's for me, because it's with my pile of stuff. But who dropped this off? I appreciate it, whoever it was. I mean, gotta rock that, right? Dude, that's amazing. I just wish I knew um, who I could thank. Not only did I find a tub of DVDs, I found a tub of HD DVDs. Remember these? This would be something cool to collect for. 
something cool to play. Something for the time, anyway. Like the games that are the games, the movies that came out during this time on HD DVD. Man, there's a ton of them here too. That's fun. Gotta have Shrek too. That's not HD DVD, but you know. And sometimes you might find something like this nestled. The pin collection. A little club Nintendo item. Look at this. Oof. PlayStation Portable. I mean, if you're going big. The Turbo Duo, for sure. I just love the Japanese box art, anyway, for some of these games. My buddy Rob just hooked me up with this, too. I have the Gizmondo, you know, so the Gizmondo card. Look at this guy. This is the Gizmondo SD card reader. Very cool. Check this out. The official Gizmondo headphones. What? Premium headset. Great little set for the Gizmondo here. Yeah, crazy story on this thing. All right, I found out who uh, gifted the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. It's this guy, the boss, my buddy. How are you feeling, man? It's been a long time, dude. Yeah, yeah it's good. I'm yeah. glad to be out at the shows again. Oh my god. Find anything cool yourself? Uh, yeah, I got six more copies of Wall Street Kids. So nice. I'm up a little bit over 100. <laughs> yeah, his Wall Street Kid collection's insane. For any reason, just Wall Street Kids. Yeah. Uh, it's just, you know, yeah. Stocks, stonks. And the end of day deals. My favorite five dollar each, or four for fifteen. All of them, no matter what the price is, four for fifteen. Well, that's five anyway. I'll grab it all the same. Spelunker it says ten today. Four for fifteen. What does this one say? Forty-five. Battle tanks. Interesting. Look at this. My friend uh, Drew just hooked me up with this for twenty. I mean, fifty dollar game. Uh, no, no box or manual or anything like that. But you know, I'm, I'm down for a deal on this. I'm gonna check it out when I get home. And as it turns out. The games I grabbed fit, perf oh, fit perfectly in this box. I'm down for that. And you know it's the end of the day when there's literally free stuff by the garbage. It's like, take it home if you want. I'll leave it for someone else though. And another convention coming up next, uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. That's where you can find me at the end of April in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I was there last time, gonna have a great time again this year, uh, bringing in my buddy Chris, Game Dad Show is gonna be there, Square Peg is gonna be there, John Hancock, Metal Jesus, gonna be a fun time. I hope to see you at Midwest Gaming Classic coming up at the end of April, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Gonna be awesome.